Today we are gonna create a boolean game. So now we will need 3D models for boolean alert, boolean balls, and pins. Okay, for practice or personal use, or for your own projects, you can download free 3D models at free 3D or double scrap websites, or you can create your own model. Okay, now for a real quick. I just downloaded a volume set here. You can also download the volume board and pin as you like. Okay, now let's go back to Unity now. Now we are gonna input our volume 3D model sets. So, right click asset, create folder, and models okay <coughs> uh, I will put materials folder into model folder now we are gonna import our three models so select the file and drag and drop into models And select these two and also drag and drop. Now we got our boolean model. Okay, now let's arrange and scale them. Now, I will delete this too. And let's apply sun color to our boolean alert. Materials. Create new material. Uh, let's give sun up. Brown. Now I set up for the game environment. I created three models here: boolean alert, boolean bar, and boolean pin. And created a prefect folder in the asset folder here. The reason why I separated this model, especially boolean bar and pin, is because we need to duplicate the same items a lot. And if there become many objects in your project, it might take you some time to find a specific object. Also, later we might need to write script for this object. Instead of applying script or any changes to multiple objects, we can reduce work by creating a prefect. Because just changing one object of a prefect, then other duplication will also automatically change. What I did is I dragged this tree model into model folder, as you can see here. And then I drop, I drag and drop these three models into this. For bowling balls and bowling pins, I created a prefect first. I just draw, drag this and this model, and drag into this prefect folder. Then I adjust and arrange the position of bowling balls and bowling pins, and then scale them. Then I duplicate them like this. Okay. Wherever you change a bar here, for 
example, if you change blue bar, and then list this bar and override. Here, apply all. Then it will change all the bars into blue. But it is okay if you want one bar red, but another bar blue. But be careful. Don't click override. Here, don't click override apply all. If you click apply all, then all bar will be red. And also same for the bowling pins. Just duplicate them as much as, as you like and then arrange them. Now we get a bowling game environment. What we love to do is to add Ricky's body to the boss and also bowling pins. So click bowling bar. Add component, rigid body. Then, to be able to grab by the hands, we need to add OVR graviva. Also, we need collider so we can detect collision between the bowling pole and bowling pins. Or the detection between our hand and bowling pole. So, add component, slash collider, and we will go with spear collider. Since we created a preferred for bowling pole, so we don't need to add a collider for each bowling pole. We just need to click override and then select sphere collider and rigid body and descript and then apply all okay we will also add collider here then Now we will add the collider for bowling pins. So select a bowling pins and add components and I will choose capsule collider. Wow. Uh, it is uh, so big. So uh, we will add it a collider. High zero wide. 0, 1 radius 0, 0, 0, 5 uh, is short you can you can edit glider here too after you adjust your collider then Override and apply or then we don't need to adjust for all the volume pins. It automatically override for all volume pins. Okay. Also here we will need to add rigid body to volume pins. So add component rigid body and then override apply or. Okay. Now every bowling pins have rigid body and colliders. If you wanna also pick at the bowling pins, you will need to add script OVR graviva. Okay. And then also my all. 
Okay. And save your project. Okay, now let's run to test. Now we can play falling ball. Okay. See you in next video for more functions.